what does that mean? And what does it take in order to be certified and qualified as a profiler? There's a lot of people who like to refer to themselves as profilers. Uh, for whatever reason, they feel that they're qualified to do so. Um, I don't know of any governmental organization excepting one that has certified an individual as a criminal profiler, and that's the FBI. It started with the FBI, and as far as I know, um, it's still with the FBI. It's not expanded beyond the FBI in order to train and qualify an individual as a criminal profiler. And what did that experience entail? Well, when I was honored with the opportunity to serve in that role, we had to go through a full year of training. And that year was considered to be on probationary status, not as an agent, uh, but a probationary status of an agent in training to become a profiler. So it was in addition to uh, special agent training. This was to now function in a very specialized expert capacity to function as a consultant for law enforcement agencies throughout the world and provide services in the area of criminal profiling, uh, identifying personality characteristics of an unknown offender based upon the analysis of, analysis of the behavior during the commission of a crime between the victim and the offender, um, interview interrogation techniques, prosecutive strategies, um, investigative strategies, crime analysis. These, these are all services that are tangential to this concept of criminal investigative analysis, is what we called it back in the day. Now it's referred to as criminal profiling. We tried to stay away from criminal profiling or profiling in general because it, uh, it was tainted by the, the thought that it had to do with primarily psychology. <clears throat> we are not psychologists. We are not psychiatrists. We are violent crime specialists who apply the principles of psychology, who apply the principles of behavioral sciences generally, and incorporate that into the investigative sciences. And with the right combination and the application of those sciences, um, under the mentorship of qualified people who have also qualified to become a profiler and who teach profiling within the FBI, you now are or have the opportunity to be tested, educated, certified um, as a profiler within that organization. Now, what does it take to do so? Well, there's a, a very heavy educational curriculum that was required of us during that first year um, of probation, probationary status in that capacity. And that was taught by agents who were all profilers, experts in their own right. And, and when I say experts, I'm not talking about were they just qualified as, as a profiler, but every individual that ever taught me not only was certified as a profiler, but they had published numerous articles um, and periodicals and journal articles, including books, um, as experts in this area of profiling. For example, John Douglas uh, was my primary mentor who uh, had published numerous articles in various topics related to profiling. Since he is really perceived and conceived as the pioneer of modern profiling as we know it today, um, certainly I took that as a, a very, very much of an honor to have that opportunity. And fortunately, I was uh, also uh, developed a very strong uh, relationship and friendship to John. We're very, very good friends. And uh, that's been a, a great sense of 
uh, personal satisfaction to me over the years. He's more like a brother to me in, in many aspects than he was um, a, uh, an administrator or manager or supervisor. Um, and so uh, what's required of a profiler? Well, if you've been successful enough in getting through the academic aspect of things and that curriculum, you also are tested in, uh, under the mentorship of profilers who monitor and oversee the assignment of cases to you individually to work and to provide crime analysis um, and profiles of unknown offenders to, based upon the analysis of that case and the application of the principles that you've been taught as a result of the academic exposure that you've received. <clears throat> so we were responsible to receive a case, to review that case, conduct our analysis and assessment, and then present it to our mentors, those primary groups uh, of individuals, the ones I've mentioned to you, uh, who were exceptionally qualified to serve in that capacity. Again, not just academically, but experientially. Not because they had a degree only, and all of them had at least a master's degree in some uh, area that, that contributed to, to their abilities, uh, but their experience. And not just as a profiler who analyzes a case, but a profiler who becomes an expert witness, who is tested and tried in court, uh, who has to be qualified as an expert witness based upon who they are, what they've done, their education, the type of uh, experiences that they've had, the type of crimes that they've uh, analyzed, the publications that they are responsible for, and, and to be certified as an expert by a judge in a court of law. That is no easy task. Uh, it's a, a high honor and it's an extreme challenge. Not just anybody is accepted as an expert in any field. Uh, you have to be qualified by a judge. And you're presented to the judge, your credentials are pre presented to the judge, and your testimony is presented to the judge through the attorney that's utilizing your services um, to qualify you as an expert before you can testify about the application of your skills and abilities to the particular case at hand. So these individuals are certified in many different areas, not just the academics, but the experiential and the cases that they review and ultimately uh, the ones that achieve a high honor and status of becoming an expert witness in a court of law as a criminal profiler, not just as an investigator or as a special agent, but an agent with exceptional qualifications and having met the criteria to be accepted as an expert witness in court. That's the type of credential that's required in the FBI. To my knowledge, there is no other organization that has assumed that level of responsibility and stewardship. And uh, I'm grateful for my experience and the honor it is to serve in that capacity and having received that experience.